honestly, you wouldn't believe some of the dodgy things that Dan's into. He's totally twisted. Yeah, all right, okay. Well, I admit it. Yeah, I'm a monster. Yeah, actually, no, having said that, I have got a thing about your gym socks. I don't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like that. What is it with you guys? It used to make me keep them on if I'd been running. Yeah. Like, oh. Oh. Yeah, it was a bloke thing, you know, we're all closet perverts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you big weirdos. <laughs> I'm a bit weird. Oh, yeah, really? I like bunnies. Oh. <laughs> here, we oh, here we go. Here we go, bunnies and bunny girls. <laughs> Strippers forever. No, I mean, like, actual bunnies, you know, real rabbits. I've got about 30 in a hutch in my garden. There's nothing like the brush of a rabbit's fur on your skin, you know, the soft tickle of its whiskers, and the way its coarse tongue gives you goosebumps every time it licks your nipples. <laughs> I like to have two or three rabbits in the bed with me at night, pressed up against my naked back. And then I'll hold one of them really tightly at arm's length above me, you know, and squeeze it really hard till it shits on me. <laughs> That's a bit too weird. Welcome, everyone. Now, before we get started, I like to play a little getting to know you game. So, going around the group, I want you each to make two statements about yourself, preferably both of them quite surprising, one of which is true, OK, and one is a lie. So, go on, really throw me a curveball. Kerry, do you mind starting? Mm, OK. Um, well, I've, I've been out with Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> and I've swum with dolphins. Oh. Oh, thank you, Kerry. <laughs> well, I don't think you'd have kept Brad to yourself for this long, so <laughs> I'm guessing that's the lie. <laughs> OK, Lee, one weird truth and one funny lie, please. I once slept with Angelina Jolie, <laughs> and I have a pet rat. Very good, very good, Lee. I think we know which one's the lie there, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> Howard. Oh, OK, um, I once slept with a Thai lady boy. <laughs> And I once slept with a Vietnamese ladyboy. <laughs> bit too weird. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then on Terry's stag do, we made him wear this pink miniskirt all night. <laughs> well, that is nothing, that is nothing. <coughs> Doug's stag do, right? We get completely wasted. And when he's passed out cold in his room, we creep in, shave one of his eyebrows oh. off. Seriously, in his wedding photographs, he's like this. Honestly, he looks such a tit. He's got no eyebrow. I once played a really good stag joke and totally weirded the guy out. Oh, that was good. This, this friend of mine, Simon, was getting married, and I, I got him to pass out after drinking loads of that, uh, that green stuff. Oh, yeah. oh, um, Midori. Oh, Midori, yeah. 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 Uh, Potassium hyperchlorate. Yeah, I, I got it from this Russian website. It rendered him completely unconscious. <laughs> anyway, he woke up in bed the next day. You know, he couldn't remember anything about the night before. Or, or what I'd done to him. Yeah, he shaved his pubes <laughs> off. He shaved his pubes <laughs> off. His fiancée, Katie, was lying next to him and she went down under the sheets to, you know, <laughs> make his day a bit special. Oh. Anyway, no, he sort of laid back watching her, you know, a little bit woozy. Anyway, as soon as she started, he knew something was wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, something was different. He just couldn't work out what. And then suddenly, Katie started laughing, you know. And he, he looked down at her, you know, and he realised he froze. His, his mouth dropped open because it, it wasn't her at all. It was me wearing a wig and a mask. <laughs> A bit too weird. Or... <laughs>